Hey guys, interested in a Fender Telecaster Blacktop Baritone. Uh, very nice guitar. Bottom line is it makes me want to play it. So that's got to be good value. Uh, retail price in Australia is 1049 I think, on the Fender site. And I don't think it's worth that much. Uh, but I have seen it from between 650 and 750 on the internet. Um, and at that price, yeah, I like it. There's a few butts, I'll get to that. Uh, the good stuff. Um, finish is great. I can't fault that. Really nice. This is the copper one. Really nice sort of uh, metallic fleck through the copper. Uh, nice neck. Reasonably thin. Uh, a bit wider than say a, a neck on a sort of a, a current sort of model Schecter so uh, and it's a 27 and a half inch scale I think so you feel there's a little bit more real estate when you're playing it um, but it, it's it's a nice neck to play um. yeah that's nice um, five position switch uh, standard fare sort of humbucker two single core pickups volume tone uh, crappy machine heads, I'll get to those. Uh, sounds wise, uh, and some nice tones on this. Humbucker. It's really sweet, sort of up here too. Um... If you can do shadow stuff, Apache, things like that, I reckon they'd be awesome on this guitar. Uh, I tend to be sort of a bit of jazz bluesy, I guess. So I tend to bounce off my lower strings, which is why I like the low E. And I like doing the you know, uh, playing it through a pod HD 300 uh, and that if you can pick one of those up for I got it on special for about 329 bucks that is unbelievable value it's brilliant really nice uh, what don't I like about it why is why don't I think it's uh, worth a thousand bucks well for a start uh, I've got about three mil left here to get the B string and intonation um, out of the box the intonation is woeful woeful so I had to remove the spring uh, wound it right back and then you discover that the little bolt that's in there come sticks out too far and covers a string hole so I would suggest you take the original bolt out take it in your local hardware or bolt supplier find a replacement half the length uh, and use that I happen to have one same in the shed for some reason so I just cut it in half and, and use that and that way you don't um, encroach on the string but yeah that has to come right back to within three mil. I've read some people have had to move their bridges uh, I haven't had to do that 
um, but that's I've got that within about half a cent of um, being correct in intonation, so that's pretty good. Um, but out of the box, you don't expect a thousand dollar guitar. You have to actually like take it apart and chuck it out to get it to tune. You think Fender would get that right? Uh, strings from stock were pretty awful. I've put um, uh, Diodario baritones on it. Those things are uh, fourteen to sixty eights. Much nicer. You can tune it down. Oh, pardon me. You can tune it down A to A if you want. Uh, it gets a little bit muddy down there. Get much lower than that. It starts to lose a little bit of um, clarity, maybe. But you can't. You can do it without any sort of buzzes. Um, there was a little bit of a bow in the neck, but the. Uh, truss rod turns nice and evenly, quarter turn on that, um, and that's just flattened it out a little bit. So I've got I've got a reasonable action on that. I play with a reasonably high action, but that's pretty nice. Tiny bit of fret noise. But um, yeah, that's I'm pretty happy with that. Neck plays really nice. I like the neck. Throw the machine heads away. They're not good. Um, they're very coarse, I think they're 14 to 1s, and you're sort of doing these tiny little movements watching the tune, you go, ooh, 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 ooh. and this bloody string tee, that's a terrible idea. I don't know who invented that, but that's a really bad idea to keep the strings down. Uh, from the factory, it's screwed right down onto the headstock uh, with a really fairly sharp angle, and I've put a little, some sort of rubber shim in there that I had in my hobby kit. Uh, to bring it right up, so there's there's not there's not too much of an angle in there now. But even so, sometimes if I'm playing uh, and I stretch the E string uh, eight times out of ten, it was going flat on me, and I was having to retune just about every take of a of a lead thing. So uh, I've got some hip shot uh, hip shot eighteen to ones coming with a universal mounting plate, so I shouldn't have to re-drill or touch the neck. I should be able to just drop those out and put them on, and I, and they're a much lower post, they're staggered, so the, the string will be coming out fairly low. Hopefully I can get rid of this all together. Um, but for a thousand bucks, I really would like better machine heads than what it came with. Um, they're chucking. It deserves better. It's a nice guitar, it deserves It's quite heavy. Um, you really know it when you pick it up and you think, oh shit, that's got some weight in it. <laughs> So I reckon if you can get it for six fifty to seven fifty dollars, uh, it's a nice guitar, worthwhile. You'll have to do a fair bit of intonation on it out of the box. You really should chuck those away, put some new strings on it, better machine heads. Um, then you'll have a nice guitar. that's of use for you if you're thinking of buying one that's my 20 cents worth oh and before I go I meant to say a um, couple of songs you can hear this on uh, one's ODD and the other is bonkers and you'll find them at my soundclick site yeah I put it on the bottom you can read it www.soundclick or does it go the other way I don't know um, but yeah go there and you'll hear a couple of songs there odd bonkers uh, and I think excellent choice, sir. I think I use this guitar for, uh, including bass all through the HD100, so you get an idea of, of the different sounds uh, that I can get out of it at least. Um, yeah, free plug for me. That's a bit cheeky, isn't it? Putting a free plug for my own album in, but here's a photo of the album cover. Yeah. 
Alright, oh, yeah, that's enough. Shut up. Finish. <laughs>